What's right with my channel? I am DJ AK Token Black. God, I'm here for the first time. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Truly appreciate it. So this is gonna be my review of that movie Prey. The I guess we call it a prequel to Predator. Um, I actually watched it on Friday. I'm just now getting down to my review. It's gonna be a short, uh, as a little spoiler free as possible um, review. I can get in. Gonna give my quick take on it. Um, so Prey, uh, Hulu came out on Friday. It's basically synopsis is it's like set in the what sixteen or seventeen hundreds, uh, Native Americans, Comanche tribe, uh, following this one Comanche uh, girl who's trying to like go on a hunt to get get the warrior status, whatever. And her big her big older brother and a few friends, um, and she in, they run into the predator who is hunting. Uh, so they they've been hunting around for a while. So this is like uh, you know old american and uh i will say um i liked it i like this movie a lot uh as far as predator movies go i would probably put it right behind the first predator um and it's it's right there i, I thought it was a very good movie um it's not the best movie in the world there's some things i could critique about it um and some of the things are kind of predictable but um i will say the things i love i thought the predator he was badass in this one um, the way he looked, he still had some of the technology, but you could tell he was a little bit older. Like the tech wasn't as newer as from like the eighties and the newer ones and everything. Um, even like his helmet was made out of like bones and everything which was pretty cool. And I think it's the one, uh, from like when I can't, forget what movie was it, was it, was it Predator vs. Predator or whatever, where it's the other Predator that are fighting amongst each other. I think that's one of them. Um, I thought, uh, his reveal was badass. Um. There were some spots where the CGI was kind of wonky. Not just him, some of the animals. I thought the bears kind of, you know, it was kind of weak. But it obviously didn't use real animals. But that was I'm just nitpicking at this point. Um, so the story was pretty good. Um, it was people talk about wokeness and everything. I would. It had a female lead in this, so you know how that goes with female leads. She's gonna be the one who kicks ass and all this stuff. Um, but some of the scenes were like, you know. I'm pretty sure a woman of her stature could not take on, on these men like that. But I will say, uh, Nora, Nora, or whatever her name was, the, the main chick, um, she was very combat. She was a good tracker. She had combat skills. And so she wasn't a pushover, so I'll give her that. Um, but overall, the movie was good. The, the story was, you know, well paced. It was only like an hour and 45 minutes. So it was a quick, it was a quick watch. Uh, so I'm surprised about that. Um, what else? Uh, Predator was good. I, I liked how they mixed in the Comanche language. And apparently the whole version on Hulu where you can watch it in strictly Comanche dialogue, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, I thought she was badass in it. Her her brothers were pretty cool the way they fought. Uh, there's one scene um, where, and also, yeah, they, they weren't holding back on the, the, the mutilation and everything. When Predator was killing, Oh, he was cutting off limbs, cutting people in half, cutting heads off, holding heads up and everything, and they were showing it all. Uh, that was pretty bad as badass. Um, there's one a couple scenes. I will say though, this little side note, the dog. The do her dog was probably my favorite character in the whole thing. He didn't it was just his personality was just he was a good dog. Good dog. But uh yeah, overall, if I had to rate this movie out of ten, I'd give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. Um, I say it's worth a good watch. Um I, I recommend watching it. If you're a Predator fan, watch it. Definitely. Um Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna do a Prey 2, you know. I think it'd be pretty cool to have them come back in different time periods, you know, throughout the history and everything like that. And in different continents, like have them go to Samurai, have them go against uh Zulu Warrior, some, you know, stuff like that. Some Amazonians, you know, the that would be pretty cool. But yeah, I recommend the movie. Take, take a look at it. Um, if you got who was free, it's a good watch. Um, yeah, that's my review. Till next time, guys. See you when I see you. Peace.